Hey guys, I'm here at uh, my wife's 2021 Acura RDX A spec. Uh, we're having issues with the infotainment here. So, the infotainment yesterday ended up freezing when my wife was uh, on her way home and she had her phone connected to the USB port inside of here. So, this USB port. So, she had her phone connected there, uh, you know, with uh, Apple CarPlay and it froze. So, uh, yeah, she made it home. She told me, hey, the, the, the radio screen is frozen. Go have a look at it. So I came downstairs. I checked it out and everything was shut down. Uh, I tried, you know, putting the key on the on position and still it didn't do anything. It's still like this, you know, black, like a black screen. I tried holding the power blind for 10 seconds uh, like I found online. And that does absolutely nothing. Um as well as pushing these three buttons here on top together at the same time. That does nothing. And yeah, guys, I've even checked the fuses. So I'll go ahead and show you the fuses. Uh, it has an audio fuse, two of them. So right there on the upper left, the 15 amp. I checked that one out and it's good. It's getting 12 volts on both sides. And then right here, uh, that 20 amp green fuse, check that one out as well, and that one's good as well. Uh, those relays, I moved them around, it's definitely uh, not that. I have even tried disconnecting the battery and leaving it off overnight, disconnected, and still it didn't do anything. Uh, there seems to be a common issues with these RDXs uh, with the infotainment, you know, going bad or you know, these type of issues uh, happening. And I did find a video where the guy did take out the, that fuse when his was frozen, uh, the audio fuse. And then when he put the fuse back on, it was a black screen like this. Then he put the fuse back, you know, took it back off, put it back in, and then it worked. But for us, it's not working at all. And then the only thing that does work is when you... Uh, have the car started, right? And you place it in reverse. So the backup camera does work. Uh, that's the only thing that works. And then everything here in the climate control, everything does work. You know, the heated seats, the fans. Um, yeah, everything works. Uh, hazard lights work. Even the dynamic mode. You could hear it, it does function. And start stop does work as you can see so yeah everything is functional uh, besides the radio uh, I did find a link on Google when I was searching that someone uh, contacted Acura about the very same issue that we're experiencing right now and I guess they mentioned that the tuner was bad so I don't know if they're referring to the the Sirius XM tuner that's inside the trunk area on the uh, passenger side quarter panel, kind of where the where the subwoofer is located, or if they're mentioning you know the infotainment control module that's basically behind uh, the radio assembly back here. So it could be one of those two things that probably went bad. Uh, fortunately, we don't have warranty, so yeah, I need to figure this out whether I buy a used. Uh, module and fix it but if you guys have any ideas man please let me know um at this point i think i've tried pretty much everything and yeah no luck so yeah guys if you've experienced the same issue please let me know i'm hoping that acura does release some type of recall which yes we all know they're not good at it i mean i've searched from 2019 to 2023 and there's barely any recalls as we all know acura does not like fixing things for free right they're all about charging people uh, a lot of money. And then you get an expensive vehicle like this. You know, for us, it's expensive, right? It's a lot of money. And then you deal with crap like this happening. So, yeah, guys, um, hopefully you guys can help me out. All right, guys, have a good day. Thank you.